Welcome to sip9.com. Uh, in this video, tutuloy natin ating series on integers. No? Natapos na natin yung subtraction of integers. Kaya ang pag-aaral naman natin ngayon ay multiplication of integers. Actually, sa lahat ng operation, yung multiplication yun yung pinakamadali. No? Uh, kung makikita niyo yung rules dito, we have positive times positive is positive. Negative times negative is positive. Positive times negative equals negative. And negative times positive equals negative. So, kung makikita nyo, pag same sign, yung minumultiply mo, parehong positive, sagot niya positive. Pag parehong negative, positive. Pag magkaiba ng signs, negative. No? So, same sign, positive, different signs, negative. No? Yan, yung, kung, yan ay kung dalawang numbers lang yung minumultiply mo. No? Mamaya, uh, or sa susunod na video, pag-aaralan natin, pag more than... Uh, Two na yung uh, ating numbers na minumultiply, no? Okay, so let's have some examples. Number one, we have... Uh, Palit tayo ng kulay. Number one, we have... 12 times negative 3. Okay? So, magkaiba sila, no? Uh, we have negative 36, no? And number two, we have negative 4 times... 7. Magkaiba pa rin. So, we have negative 28. Number 3, we have negative 10 times negative 6. Magkapareho. So, positive yung sagot natin. Negative times negative is positive. So, 60. Number 4, we have uh, 7 times 6, parehong positive, so this is 42. And number 5, we have 11 times, or negative 11 times 0. Still, um, of course, any number multiplied by 0 is equal to 0. Where, of course, there are cases na hindi na tayo magamit nung, nung uh, multiplication sign, no? na yung parang x. So, minsan, ang ginagamit natin is yung parenthesis, no? Halimbawa, uh, number 6, we have negative 4 times negative 3. Okay? So, yan. Pag meron tayong parenthesis, tsaka wala tayong sign in between. So, we're multiplying these numbers. So, pareho negative, we have... Uh, the answer should be positive, no? Minsan naman, kung halimbawa, yung... Uh, may mga pagkakataon na minsan, pag positive yung isang number, yung nilalagyan lang natin ng parenthesis yung pangalawang number, no? yung nasa kanan. So, 7 times negative 8, for example, is negative 56. This is perfectly valid. This is also correct. No? And, of course, pwede rin ito. Kung gusto nyo lagyan ng parenthesis dito, pwede rin naman. No? But, bihira tayo nakikita na may parenthesis yung una at saka yung pangalawa wala. So, usually, yung pangalawa, mayroon talaga siya to indicate that we are multiplying the numbers, no? Uh, what else? Uh, I think yan lang muna, no? Uh, sa susunod na video, pag-aaralan natin, paano ngayon kung more than two numbers na yung minumultiply natin, no? So, yan yung pag-aaralan natin sa susunod na video. Punta kayo sa zipnayan.com, nandiyan yung ating uh, mga listahan ng mga videos, no? Uh, pwede kayong tumingin dyan at pwede kayong manood na sunod-sunod, no? Uh, nakalista kasi dyan yung mga videos natin, yung mga series natin chronologically. So, pwede nyo uh, panoorin na sunod-sunod para mas matuto kayo. Of course, kung nanonood kayo sa YouTube, invite ko kayo sa ating YouTube channel. Just subscribe uh, para ma-inform kayo pag meron tayong bagong videos. Maraming salamat. See you in the next tutorial.